everyone. Are you ready for another story? Let's see which story is under the story blanket today. This book is called The Toucan Brothers and it's written and illustrated by Tor Freeman. There's a little tiny blurb on the front that says, so funny you'll laugh until your pipes burst. And the blurb on the back says, plumbers to the rescue. When your plumbing is driving you round the U-bend, who are the twosome on whom to depend? In Tapton, everyone knows who to call. The fast plumbing toucans, Sammy and Paul. No job is too big, no pipe is too small. Ooh, let's find out what happens in this story. The Toucan Brothers. Tor Freeman. When your loo's got the blues and the showers run dry, when the sink's on the blink and the soap's in your eye, when you're wearing the cushions to cover your ears to drown out the tap that's been dripping for years, in Tapton, everyone knows who to call. The fast plumbing toucans, Sammy and Paul. There's their van, drip, drip, drop. Toucan brothers, no drip too big, no pipe too small. For a splish or a splash, they'll be there in a flash. For a drip or a drop, they will come on the dash. Sammy and Paul have the plungers and spanners. They have the know-how and impeccable manners. For a job you can't do, just call on those who can. The twosome that can do. The brothers do can. finds giraffes that extra one meter and who installs anteater's swanky new heater who will tell mole that his tap wasn't on and who will discover where pig's boot has gone and when the job's done and they're certain they've fixed it who will have tea with a chocolate biscuit the answer is easy it's sammy and paul for no job is too big and no pipe is too small One afternoon at the Brothers HQ, the emergency phone rang, the red, not the blue. On the line was the mayor, quite in a pickle. The spout from his fountain had reduced to a tickle, trickle. The birds arrived quickly with ladder and tools and a well-thumbed edition of good plumbing rules. But as they were working, they spied a van driving with letters announcing New plumber arriving. The van pulled to a stop and a crowd gathered round. Out jumped a hat-wearing, tool-toting hound. He had gadgets that whirred and things that went beep. And he guaranteed all of his prices were cheap. I'm top of the pipes and plumbing's my game. Call me whenever, Flesh Rover's the name. Paul felt downhearted, but Sam said, Don't fear, we've been honing our plumbing craft year after year. We're honest and good, and we do what we say. This dog may be cheaper, but better. No way. But soon the bird's work completely dried up. All of their customers pinched by that pup. Come a spurt or a spelt, and that dog was about. And when something burst, he was always there first. Seems folk are just smitten by anything new. The birds were left jobless with nothing to do. But what Paul didn't know and what Sam didn't guess was that this cheeky muck was just making a mess. He'd seal up a crack using any old thing. He'd tie boilers together with big balls of string. He patched and he botched. He slapdashed and bungled. He shortcutted, covered and muddled and fumbled. 
No wonder his work was much cheaper and faster. It was easy to see this would end in disaster. And sure enough, Croc's pipe sprang a leak, the pipe that the dog had fixed only last week. And one moment later, Pig's shower had burst, but not before Lizard's new boiler broke first. Bang! And out of Frog's window, two taps quickly flew. And let's draw a veil and over poor Rabbit's loo. Censor, too embarrassing for Rabbit. All over Tapton, it seemed one by one, that Flash Rover's jobs were all coming undone. Help, cried the mayor. This dog is a fraud. As a plumber, his work seems disastrously flawed. His bite was apparently worse than his bark. We must get some help or start building an ark. Tapton is drowning. We're right in a jam. And no one can save us but Paulie and Sam. Well, the two birds were touched by the pleas of the town. And this was their home. They would not let it down. And really, said Sammy, that dog is a menace. For everyone knows this is Tapton, not Venice. So they plugged up the leaks and they unclogged the drains. They cleaned out the pipes, kitchen, bathroom and mains. They plumbed with aplomb, not a second too late, and rescued the town from a watery fate. They said to Flash Rover, you need a new plan. You can't do the job that the two of us can. And now we've cleaned up your mess, you'll agree that Tapton just ain't big enough for us three. So when the loo's got the blues and the showers run dry, when the sink's on the blink and there's soap in your eye, when the plumbing is driving you round the U-bend, who are the twosome on whom to depend? In Tapton, everyone knows who to call. The toucans that can do, Sammy and Paul. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.